they look like normal tomatoes, they taste like normal tomatoes. But these ones are supercharged with vitamin D. Consuming one medium-sized tomato equivalents to the vitamin D content in uh, two medium-sized eggs or 28 grams of tuna. Tomato leaves naturally contain a precursor to vitamin D, but a gene inside the plant converts it to cholesterol and other molecules before the fruit is ripe. Scientists here at the John Innes Centre in Norfolk have genetically edited these plants to trap that vitamin D. The gene editing is just like a pair of tweezers. You can snip out precisely snip out a small fragment from the tomato genome without introducing any foreign DNAs. So in the vitamin D enriched tomatoes, uh, we turn switch off a particular gene in the tomato genome, which converts pro D3 to other molecules. And by switch off this gene, we were able to accumulate a large amount of pro D3 in tomato plants. Gene editing is not the same as genetic modification, which does insert DNA from other plants and animals into an organism. That process will remain illegal in the UK, but the British Parliament is debating overturning the EU-imposed pre-Brexit laws banning precision breeding. The new legislation paves the way for gene editing, not just in plants, but in animals as well. And scientists think they'll be able to use the technology to do things like improve the drought resistance of crops, bolster the immunity of livestock, and even eradicate invasive species. But not everyone is happy. Critics of the legislation say not enough research has been done into gene editing, which may not be as harmless as it's being made out to be. Genetic engineering is often portrayed as being like a Lego block. You take out the blue brick and you put in the red brick, but that's not how DNA functions. Once you make a single change in DNA, you make multiple changes throughout the organism. So you can end up creating something that has uh, more toxins or maybe a higher potential to cause cancer. Or it could interact with the environment in a way that we can't predict until it's actually in the environment. Under the new laws, there'll be no requirement to label food as precision bread, meaning these tomatoes could slip onto a consumer's plate without them knowing. But those who support the legislation say the technology is part of a biotech revolution, which is providing solutions to some of the world's biggest challenges, such as the climate crisis and famine. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Norfolk.